Oh yeah, here we go again on the LTK channel. Love them knives and we've got another ZT and you know, maybe I'm going on a ZT binge here. We got a knife and we've got paperwork that we can look at or whatever or we're not because it takes time and who cares right now. I don't, but you're either going to go bold or go home. And this one is going bold. Oh, yeah. Just see my clone review of the clone of this? <laughs> I liked it so well, I got the real one. And you know what? I kind of like the real one better than the clone for a bunch of different reasons. Look at that anno. Or the coating on this, because this is magnetic. Right oh, right oh, yeah. I think they call it a DLC coating of some sort. Or P PVD coating of something. See that kind of reddish hue in there? Or purplish with the blue? It's cool. But this is really understated. Isn't that strange? This is kind of loud and wild. And this is understated. But then loud and wild again on here. On the pocket clip. Pocket clip. Well, that's steel. Backspacer? Nope. It's not steel. Or it's not magnetic, and neither is the scale. Titanium. Oh, you got uh, CTS 204P. Sinkovich design. I love the Sinkovich design. 0456. There's your serial number. So, fresh from ZT. Yes, it is. Here you go, you've got some jimping on the top of the flipper tab. Pretty knife, a lot of machine work here. All these lines running up and down. Yeah. Does it flip? Oh yeah. It's uh, probably about 25-30% lock up. You've got your, as you can see, your hardened steel insert. Let's get that thing all the way. See? Right in there. Hardened steel insert with your detent ball over travel stop. <clears throat> As per on a frame lock flipper. And it is centered. And it has no blade play. And it has no lock rock. And it better not for 240 bucks, Right? So, <clears throat> yeah. It's not cheap. It's good quality. I really like the clone so well. And I, I reviewed the clone. And then I couldn't get it out of my mind. I mean, I sold it on because I sell my knives on usually to fund future purchases for, to review on my channel. And I just couldn't get it out of my mind. And it's not like I'm a big fan of the shorter knives. But this just... I don't know. This Sinkovich is killing me. I mean, this guy... Wow, I don't know. He kills me. He really does. Where's that other one? <clears throat> that I had here. Hold on. Uh, another Sinkovich design, right? The 0450. So, look at that. Now, these knives, the blade length's about the same. Overall length about the same. This one, much lighter, tinier, thinner, more stealth, okay? But just the design, I don't know what it is about that, but it's just really attractive to me. This is a big, clunky, heavy thing. It flips great, a lot of intention, pretty good detent, not an overwhelming amount of detent. Well, pretty good amount of detent. Come on, baby. Okay, a lot of detent. I give up. No, it's good detent. It's not as the strongest detent I've ever felt, but it's strong enough, obviously. I bet it's like three and a quarter inch blade. What do you think? Well, exactly three and a quarter inch. Seven and three quarter overall. Nineteen and a half centimeters overall. So you got. About eight and a half centimeter length. 
Blade stock. CTS 204P. Uh, four millimeters. There you go. So that's nice and heavy. 0 0.5. 0 0.155. Here's the real question. How fat is this thing in your hands? Well, it's 0 0.56 of an inch. Which equals 14.32 millimeters. So, yeah, it's... It it is it and you know it you can see how this handle is sculpted like this right it's higher here than it is on the ends. I like the blue hardware. Yeah, I do. Backspacer, pivot, stylized, but still get your torques in there. So real usable that way. Yeah, you got your stone wash flats, your satin grind. Do you think it might cut a piece of paper? Let's see if it will. Let's get a piece of paper that we haven't cut yet. <laughs> oh, we've already cut this one on the other side, but there we go. Yeah. Come sharp. Come sharp. Good steel. Yeah. A lot of people like it. <laughs> what have we got? We got little shavings all over my desk. Great. Yeah, I'm liking it. But it's a chunk of change. It is a chunk of change. Let's see how heavy it is. Oh, yeah. 6.2. Oh, yeah, baby. And the 0450. Almost the same length. All right. <laughs> Two and a half. Two and a half ounces. This dog. 6.2. Wow. 177 grams. It's getting there. I mean, for a three and a quarter inch blade, 6.2 ounces is, uh, yeah, some weight. And you feel it in your hand. But you know what? I really like this. I like the way it feels in my hand. And even though, you know, you really don't have room for all your fingers there, um, it's still very comfortable in the hand. No hot spots here. Pocket clip is good. It's not overly stiff. Very functional. Obviously, it'll go right or left hand tip up, but it's not a deep carry. You can get a deep carry for this. One thing you can get on a lot of these ZT knives is you can get different, you know, you can get the blue hardware, you can get blue screws, you can get deep carry titanium anodized pocket clip in blue or gold or purple or, you know, I mean, it's just crazy the stuff that they have available for these. The 801's a lot like that too, that Rexford one. But you know, I just couldn't get it out of my head. I had to I had to do it. I had to get the real deal. And I searched around. I got a good deal on this. So no, did I pay 240? Hell no. <sighs> Problem is if you're not willing to pay the you know going uh you know price, then you're gonna have to search and maybe wait for a while. And I did. But yeah. It's the real deal. It's not the clone, but the clone was awful good. The clone was scary good. It's real scary. Uh, but there are differences. There are differences. This is not as glitzy and, and bright. And uh, that, you're not seeing that little red stuff in there. But there may be differences even between the ZT originals from one run to the other run. So it's, yeah, I don't know if you can actually, but I mean, the clone I had, this was not as bright. This was real bright, yet this is dull. So, you know, I had bright this, and this was dull, and this was dull. Now, this is bright, and this is bright, and this is dull. So those are the differences. Other than that, the flipping action was the same. It felt the same in the hand. It felt like it was the same weight. You got a lanyard hole. Really nice. Through the backspacer. So, right and left hand, tip up carry. Not a real long knife, but it's a pretty good chunk of change. 6.2 ounces. So, you know, I love the design. I just had to go down that road. What I'll do in the future with this knife, I don't know. Maybe put some blue screws in there. 
Eh, maybe that would be all I'd do too. I don't care if I have a deep carry pocket clip or not. But I really love this design. So it was fun. Hey guys, you know what we do? Yes, we do. We love them knives. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel if you feel like that might be worth your while. Or not. And my email address is lovethemknives at gmail.com. Thanks again. See ya.